We need to get with the trends. And that's why I've decided to hire Allison Day to help us out with our marketing. What? Allison Day? Oh, Darman. Do I really even need to introduce the man himself anymore? I think not. But today, we're gonna be looking at his amazing TikTok teen series. You know, the videos where he tries to prove that he's with the fellow kids and he knows what's cool. But he really just kind of makes a fool of himself because nothing that happens in the videos is what happens in real life. I mean, essentially just a normal Darman video, but a little worse. And today, we're gonna be watching what I believe to be the stupidest TikTok teen video. TikTok famous teen kicked out of office instantly regrets it please subscribe well any calls yet <sighs> no sorry daisy <sighs> we used to be getting calls all day every day we haven't had a call in weeks daisy yeah. sorry i know the timing isn't the best but the landlord came by he said we're 30 days past due. Um, uh, Daisy, I have one small suggestion. Maybe if you didn't hire six people to sit around a table answering phone calls, you'd have a little more money on hand. I mean, I do not believe that at any point in the past, an interior design service had such an unbelievable amount of business that they needed six receptionists to keep up with the volume. I have a new marketing idea. We go back and we do things the old-fashioned way. We take out a full-page ad in the newspaper. Barb, nobody reads the newspaper anymore. And that would probably cost us every penny that we have. It's time that we try something new. We need to get with the trends. And that's why I've decided to hire Allison Day to help us out with our marketing. What? Allison Day? All right, so if you're unfamiliar with the Darman cinematic universe, Allison Day is Darman's Addison Ray. I know, pretty subtle, huh? And so I can already tell that Barbara is going to be this episode's villain, but um, she's completely right. Sure, newspapers are a little old fashioned and they might not be the best way to market, but who do you think is more likely to need an interior design service? People above the age of 50 and 60? Or a bunch of 12 year olds on TikTok? I mean, this might be one of the stupidest plots of Darman. Do you think that anybody who watches Addison Rae even owns a house? She's like the queen of TikTok. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, it's a pleasure to be here and I can't wait to work. <laughs> oh please tell me this is some kind of a joke. How is this 15 year old high school talk tick star going to solve all of our problems, hmm? I'm actually 20. And I have a lot of experience in marketing. You see, <laughs> you have a lot of experience in marketing, darling. You're just a child. So they're trying to make Barbara out to be this asshole, but I mean, she's just being real. Am I a boomer or something? I would have to imagine that at least 75% of Addison Rae's audience is under the age of 14. Starbucks wants to advertise a new drink? All right. Snapchat wants to advertise a new filter? Okay, those things work for TikTok stars, not something that requires you to have a house and thousands of dollars. I'm sorry, I've never met someone with so many followers before. Yeah, I can relate. That's usually how people react when they learn that I have 13,000 subs. I try to let them know that I'm just a normal guy, just like them, but you know, they never listen. I'm going to show design transformation. So we'll start at the empty desk, and then I'll add each decoration on one by one. Uh, can you video as I do? What's going on in here? Oh, um, we're creating a TikTok. Here, check it out. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> this was your big idea? <laughs> oh, and now I suppose the phones will just magically start ringing. Well, they should. Wow, okay, so I really don't know if I'm just some old man trapped in this body, but I think I could be Barbara's best friend. This is not an advertisement. This is like some shittily put together high school project that nobody wanted to work on. You're just putting things on a desk. That's not interior design. I don't even think a 12 year old would buy this. Barb hates me. Oh my gosh. What did she say to you? Please. Tell me. All I told her was the truth. That her kiddish idea would never work. 
What idea? <laughs> she wanted to take some silly video of a desk and then tag something someone? I, I don't know. It wasn't silly. It was really good. Guys? Guys. I, I really think I'm losing my mind here. TikTok is a great platform for advertisements, and a big name like Addison Ray is a really good person to market your product through, but not for this. Most Darman videos, if I take away all the stupid acting and all the fluff, I can usually understand the idea they had, but this just does not work. How did they land on an interior design company? Any other company would have worked better, but grown adults with houses with enough money to spare to pay somebody to redesign their house? That has got to be the lowest demographic of people watching TikToks. Allison and Valerie get back to their idea, showing the process of designing a desk. When they finish recording, Allison edits the video and gets ready to post it on TikTok. Now I just need to write the caption. Check out Daisy's designs, link in bio. <sighs> okay. Posting in three, two, one. Posted. Hey, uh, hey Daisy, I think I might know your problem. If I paid you money to come out and you said you were an interior designer and your idea of a makeover was putting some plastic pigs on my desk, I think I'd blow up your office. No wonder this place isn't getting business anymore. Can't imagine the reviews on their website. Yeah, so I paid them $200 an hour and all they did was put a plastic frog on my fireplace. That was so good. Amazing. Nice job. Wow, that was really cute. I loved it. Thanks. Stop. Please stop. This video is making me unhappy. That was not good. Darman, level with me here, buddy. You know that wasn't good. Why would you make your actors say that? I would walk off the set if I was told to call that TikTok good. Well, it is good riddance. She didn't know what she was doing. Now let's go full speed ahead on the newspaper ad. I don't want to waste any more time. Hello, Daisy's Designs. How may I help you? You saw our video on TikTok? You want help designing your office? Guys, I am officially declaring this Darman's dumbest video yet. This is without a doubt the most nonsensical plot I have seen so far. And that is a bold statement. Even for Darman, this is bad. I really cannot believe that this made it onto YouTube. Yes, absolutely. Finally. Customer. <laughs> Hello, Daisy's Design Services. How can I help you? You saw our TikTok video. Absolutely, we can help you with that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hello? Yeah. What in the world is going on? Barbara, I have no fucking clue. Oh. Yes. The phones are ringing off the hook. <laughs> it worked. Allison's idea worked! <laughs> She did it. Oh yeah, I meant to say this earlier, but I kind of got blindsided with just how stupid this video turned out to be. But Daisy was talking about how taking out a newspaper ad would make them go broke, but somehow they can afford one of the biggest TikTok stars on the platform. I can't quite imagine that Addison Ray would be cheaper than a newspaper ad. This one hurt to make, guys. Usually Darman doesn't get me so riled up, but oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen a video so stupid. Darman, you have your work cut out for you to make something worse than this. I don't think it's possible. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.